I've worked in six hospitals and four states since the end of February. Every single patient I've had for months has COVID-19. I feel like I let I, I was letting everyone down. I wanted to do more. I wanted to do more for everyone. And I couldn't. Chelsea, because of everything you witnessed during this pandemic, you created a manifesto to change the nursing industry. I surveyed thousands of travel nurses all over the country and asked pretty much what improvements could be made to our current healthcare system. And I got an overwhelming amount of responses and ideas and concern. For me personally, if I want to work in all 50 states, I have to get 50 different nursing licenses to work in all 50 states. I I think I have seven right now, but I have to pay hundreds of dollars and wait weeks to get each license. In a crisis or pandemic mode, that doesn't work. We can't get to the crisis spots quick enough. There should be one, one national license so we can go state to state and help quicker in emergencies. Another one was violence against healthcare workers should be made a federal offense in all the states. There are a lot of nurses who are getting hurt by patients on a regular basis and there's nothing they can do. Mm. So a lot of nurses were calling on a some sort of federal law to protect healthcare workers from violence from patients. The, another one was uh, all hospitals need to inform all the other workers of the personnel who have COVID-19 who are infected because a lot of people aren't being told who's infected and then that's putting them at risk. Even if they continue to work, they, nobody knows who has it. A lot of people think that we get tested on a regular basis and they think we all have health insurance and they think we have an abundance of PPE now. All of that is false. I haven't had health insurance since I worked in New York City. I'll, the only test that I've had done for COVID-19, I've had to go and get them myself and I've had to pay $250 to get those tests. So we need the testing done regularly, like they, like everyone assumes we're already getting. We also need the PPE because we're not prepared for the next wave. We have an, kind of enough right now, but we don't have enough if we have something harder that hits us soon. Well, Chelsea, you have been through so much. We want to give you a gift to help you on your journey to heal. The W Hotel in Punta de Mita, Mexico is gifting you a four day retreat that includes meals and daily spa treatments. You can take this trip whenever you're ready, whether that's next month or even a year from now, but it's your trip to take when you need it and you want it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for all you do. And you can read Chelsea's nursing manifesto on our website, thedoctorstv.com.